Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at the latest firmware release for the Panasonic Lumix GH6 and today we've got the release of firmware version 2.4 and if you sort of haven't seen this already it's not a huge release the last release 2.3 probably had more things in it you know for the sort of vast majority of people but this one is quite a useful one if you've got the um, DJI RS3 Pro you've actually got um, LiDAR rangefinder support now for the camera so there's AF support for the uh, the image transmitter module so if um, if you've got that now you've got sort of fully functioning AF on manual lenses through the focus motor so that that's a really nice um, addition to uh, to the sort of camera expanded through that uh, if you don't know the gimbal I'm referring to I'll link it down in the uh, in the description of this video and maybe up above but um, yeah basically all those modules come with the pro version of that unit so um, yeah it's good if you're using you know vintage lenses, cine lenses, that type of thing. You know, you've got the um, that additional focusing option through LiDAR when you haven't got AF available. And then outside of that, with that being the main feature of this firmware update, you can see in there, there's a Apple ProRes recording fix. So it, it looks like there were um, freezing issues with Apple ProRes. I can't say I've ever encountered that. So I'm not really sure um, <laughs> what options you needed to be using for that to kind of happen. But um, yeah, it looks like there's been a fix in for that and improve operational stability, which is a standard thing, you know, for most of these firmware updates, they'll always fix a few little bugs and bits as they release the latest ones so yeah nothing huge in there for um for probably the wide majority of people but i'd always recommend just updating it for um just for the operational stability anyway you know that that's always worth doing if you're shooting prores then obviously it's it's worth doing for you so um yeah that's um that's worth updating and uh, going up to I, it's a little bit of um, a shame some of these other things didn't kind of come across because today we've got uh, also, if we jump into the full frame lineup, you'll be able to see we've also got the, uh, sorry, not the S5, the S5 Mark II and the Mark II X. They've both had um, updates today. Uh, the S5 had one last week, but if we jump into this one for the Mark II, you'll be able to see that um, they've had a few additional bits put in there and you know some of them are already in the gh6 so they don't need to come across but um there's a couple in there that would have been really nice if they'd made their way to the gh6 and you know who knows they might come across in um sort of future firmware updates but um this one in particular would have been a really nice one having the 20 times uh zoom for mf assist and currently we've only got six times so it'd be really nice if that can sort of trickle its way down into the um gh6 because I mean, certainly for me, and I have seen other people talk about it, but it's a bit of a bugbear really having like only only six times zoom. So if, um, you know, if that could make it down, that would be really nice. But, you know, there's certainly nothing to complain about in the sense that um, we're getting regular updates for the for the GH6. There's new features coming in all the time. So, um, yeah, if any of those bits do kind of trickle down to the... Um, down to the camera then that's great really but yeah it was just a quick one just to kind of make you aware there's a new firmware update so um you know it's probably worth jumping onto it whether you are going to get use out of those bits or not really i think it's always worth getting updated just after the latest sort of stability fixes in there i'll um i'll leave a link in the um description to link you to this page so you can just kind of jump in and do it so if this video's helped please give it a like if you want to see more content like this then uh, please subscribe to the channel